good. I got this uh, Masters player, Dark Templar. Do 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 do. Get it in. I always get it in. What time about? I just, I just felt I felt that it wouldn't fit, and I didn't mess with it, and I was right. Flowmaster was right. Didn't feel right. Get our uh, Cybernetics core. He'd go on Roach Warren as he should, because. There's a hatchery right here. He's going all in. Hey, they're attacking our base. Or the creep is from here to here. It could be the creep. Never mind. He creeps. He's a creeper.
Now we make oracles. We gotta get our gases. Attack him right now. Lie there. 
Let's go, baby. Let's go. Guess who? Got him. <laughs> I don't think he was very happy to play me. GG. Okay. We'll recap that. His creep was really good. I already expected his creep to be good in the beginning. I'll show you where. So. Let's see. <clears throat> kind of go through it real quick so we get that we get the, um, the pylon and then we get the forge 
and then we get a pylon right here. I'm charge up my phone, my headset. Oh shit! People are like, "Oh my god, he has hair! He has hair!" Uh huh. Okay. Hey, Kate. PVZ is complicated, it took me a while, but I kind of got my own style to it. I'll kind of explain what I do in my style. So in the beginning I come in right, <clears throat> I don't see a, I see a probe. Okay, I see a probe and this pylon right here. So I put a pylon so that he doesn't make a hatchery and it's going to force him to make a hatchery over here on this side, right? So we got that. We got this probe comes in and makes the cannons, and this probe looks like he's the one doing the mischief, right? Okay. So we make a couple cannons just to kind of keep the lanes from going over here and doing too much damage, or just coming in, taking out the pylon, and going for an expo. I'm trying to delay his expansion for as much as I can. So what this does is when you delay their expansion, they decide to go, okay, well, I'll just go for Travagers and I'll just break out and counter the fact that I need a lot more links to break out. Or if I go links, then you're going to have a defense and you might get sentries. So I might just go with Ravagers. So he doesn't expect this, though. He doesn't expect the cannon rush at the third. Oh, that's what he did. Yeah, he creeped with the creep with the queen. That's what he did. I thought there was a hatcher or something. I was like, "Why is there a creep right there?" I had a queen right there. It started spreading creep. So, he's going Ravagers. There's nothing much he could do right here. Oop. I go on Expo, but I always get my Stargate first. I always get to get my Stargate. I get one first, and then two when I get the second base. But uh, one Stargate, then Nexus, then another Stargate. That's what I like to do. I go four, four Void Raids, and I go take out a Hatchery. If you can take out queens and not lose void rage, that's even better. You gotta make sure that you can withstand that because queens are pretty strong. So I'm just harassing, making sure that the expos don't go up so quickly. See, the thing about Zerg is they want to macro really hard, right? And a lot of players don't get aggressive with Zerg and so they are allowed to get a lot of drones so 75 drones 100 drones I don't even know um, but um, they get a really high count they have a specific count that they kind of want to reach and um, so if you slow them down that kind of helps you from them getting too big and just overpowering you or just with the creep making the creep difficult for you because he's creeping everywhere you know it's really good to try to like slow suppress them so these are the ways I suppress them in and out with void raids oracles so over here his attention's over here so now with the oracles I decided to go over here which is pretty common tactic that I do I just bug them so much with the void raids that they eventually get to an area where I want them to go and I want to go the other way. So I took out a lot of drones right there. And then he sent more drones and I was like before I send before I kill the hatchery um if you hold position and the drones are still in good range of the oracles, they won't kill the hatchery if you hold position. So that's what the goal was to hold position 
and uh, kill the drones before the hatchery dies. Because if you kill the hatchery, they're gonna the drones are gonna go away, and it's better just snipe them before that. So then I held position. As you can see, some of the ones that are close by are just zipping them up. And now we take it out when we have to. He lost a lot of drones there. Oof. A lot of larva. Charge lots are going to be for the hydras. And then the oracles are going to be to counter the hydras as well. They the clump. He's got lurkers. Whole position, whichever direction, because they might be paying attention to something else. And the drones are just going to go over to the main base or this base, but this is gone, so they're going to go up. So you just go up the ramp, hold position, and just, you know, slowly eat up all those drones. You know? Like, mm mm. Now I believe he should be dead, but he doesn't want to leave the game yet, but he because he has his space. You want to make sure that you're if you have another arm, if you're going to attack him and he's almost dead and you have still an army, then just collect it and then just go. Just regroup and just go for that one last attack. Especially if you damage him that, that much. <clears throat> so I kind of feel like, okay, well, I'll just group up and just go for the for sure kill. I never revelate anything out. Oh, nope. I guess because <laughs> all he had was like lurkers, right? And the lurkers, you kind of want the, uh, you want to figure out how to kill the observer, right? And this, the observer killer is right here, the the uh, spore. You're like, shit, hopefully I can, you know, get by with these. And, um, the moment I used the revelation, he's like, ah, shit, I forgot revelation. Took off. Oh, son of a... It's an instant. It's like, nope, he's going to use revelation. But I don't know, I had too many oracles in the first place. What do you think? How do you do that in your video tech? Power profile. Oh yeah, that one's a really nice drone.